Hello, ball bags. Welcome to um, another edition of uh, the European Super League of Self Playing Snooker. Hope you're all right. Um, I am not getting the stream chat, I don't think, unless nobody's saying anything. I've got 70 viewers. This is just beyond the pale. I know we had a week off, but come on, guys. We're just getting to the exciting part. How can numbers be... What's going on? Where's everyone... I thought we were all self-isolating. Is that not going on anymore? No one told me. Um, anyway, welcome to uh, the show sponsored by Jurex UK. Um, your, John, your Johnny Come Lately. That's uh, the new advertising enough slogan I've come up for them. Your Johnny Come Lately. Because uh, the condom dulls sexual excitement. And thus, uh, if you're someone who ejaculates too quickly, that can help you. Just the, the, just it, a Jurex really just spoils what's going on to the extent. Ah, there we go. We've got, uh, we've got, we've got, you know, 92 people, Jason Downing saying it's not much better, is it? And it's gone up to 92 on my counter now. Um, less than 100. I don't put I don't play snook against myself for less than a hundred, but no, that's what I was aiming for, wasn't it? I was aiming for it. Anyway, uh, we're no longer in uh, the uh, Leroy Clark, the French Roy Clark Arena, because uh, Leroy Clark's family got in touch to say that I was mispronouncing his name. Otherwise, they would have been quite up for it, and they did not like to be compared to the right of last of the sum of wine. So. Um, They've refused permission, uh, but uh, we have got a new candidate, someone who's died today. Uh, do brace yourselves, especially if you're a fan of the Catholic Church, which I think we all are. Um, it's not the Pope. He's immortal due to, you know, being God's representative on earth. Uh, I'm sad to report that Eduardo Martinez Samalo, uh, who's the... Got a surname most like Solero of anyone we've had the arena named after so far, which is why I chose him. Yes, Hampton123 came straight in with not Eduardo Martinez Samalo. I think he had that ready. It was too quick to have actually typed out Eduardo Martinez Samalo. He's gone 94 years young. Um, you know, he was a prefect for the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments from the 1st of July 1988 to the 21st of January 1992. And then a prefect of the Congregation for, and this is off the top of my head, the Congregation for Institutes of Consecrated Life and Societies of Apolistic Life from the 21st of January 1992 to 11th of February 2004. So, you know, he was an important person. Spanish, of course. Eduardo Martinez. He's gone. He's died uh, not sure. He had a bypass surgery in 2003 and a heart attack in J July 2021. You know, I'm putting two and two together and I think he, he died of AIDS. Um, so, um, I think he died of loving Jesus too much. And I uh, hope his family didn't hear it. His wife and kids didn't hear um, that, that just something slipped out there that I shouldn't have said. <laughs> um, and Ray rest in peace he's in heaven now it's the it's great news for a religious person death must be the the best thing um, I don't know how he'd feel about um, <laughs> being uh, I think I think he's good his, his family might get in touch before the obviously a, a, a sporting event sponsored by Jurex probably would not be his uh, favourite um, cause but you know I think he'll be delighted to have had this he may one day be a saint I don't know I don't know how it works I don't know how we can decide that here on earth but God lets us know anyway we're not here to talk about what Eduardo Martinez Samalo I really want a Solero now I had one you know it's a bad day I was very tired today and I still am um, I had my daily Solero at 10 a.m that's how bad today was um, but the diet's going well. I've been on holiday, been eating fish and chips and ice cream and sweets. Lost a kilo. So what, what I did climb up a massive rock with my kids and go for two long runs as well, which might be uh, might be the cause of that weight loss. But uh, down to the lowest of the year once again. 
to another level that I was a few weeks ago, but only for a day, and then it went back up again. So I think this is, I think this is the real thing this time. Um, see if we can get under ninety kilos by I don't know when. October, I don't know. I am always tired, RT fellows, because I have two young children and I've been um, looking after them full time and on holiday. Going on holiday with little kids is like you need a holiday. And I just, I thought, hey, I'll get some work done today and back. Did I did a pre-fruit of my book, wrote a little bit for my questions book that's coming out in October. And then was going to write trying my sitcom and um, too tired, too tired to work. Tried to go for a row, did, was going to do 30 minutes, did 15 minutes, too tired to continue. It's hard, and I've dri I have drove all the way back from Cheddar in Somerset yesterday to uh, Hertfordshire. So, uh, you know, we're up to 100, which means the snooker can continue. It's an exciting day. I think if we bring up the league table, we'll see quite how exciting it is. Um, if my calculations are correct, we'll see. What Andy McH thinks, uh, I think uh, first is me too. Yeah, the very strong breeze, plus 50 out. That's what I've got. Second, Gamey came, came on very strongly last week. Um, did he? There he is to yeah win by 20 points against me 11. It's me 11 in dire straits. Um, I don't think she'll be as good as Mark Knopfler, but they said they'd give it a go. Uh, Sam Beckett, me, absolutely fucked. Lost every single one of his... Even if he wins all the rest, I d he mathematically cannot get to the top of this table because today, uh, me 10 is playing me 1. They're both on six points, and one of them will they'll at least have seven points if it's a draw. Uh, one of them will have eight points, and me, Sam Beckett, me, his hope of glory will have gone. But also, female me will almost certainly not be able to get up uh, to the, the top of the table. Very upsetting for her fans. Today, we've got me 1 playing me 10. Me won, fifth position, but a win today. A win of over 40 could see him usurp me 10, and amazingly, Taffy McTaffeter. Uh, and then a very important frame, me 2 versus me 7. Gamey could overtake me 2 this evening without even playing if me 2 loses by 11 or more points. And that's what we're playing for. It's getting very exciting now here in the European Super League of self-playing snooker. A lot of people said it wouldn't. Get the viewers that said you'll be, you'll be down to almost double figures by the midpoint of this. Uh, they were wrong. We were at well over a hundred in the midpoint. Um, you know, I'm disappointed. I can tell you, Ian Durex is disappointed. He's put two million pounds into this competition. Um, that's just the prize money, plus all the free condoms for all of the participants. And um, still no Twitch notifications, says Andy McCage. That might explain it. That, let's say that's the reason. <laughs> uh, and, uh, um, yeah, they haven't paid up yet, this though. Uh, but do support Durex UK. If you really want to, it stops you getting AIDS. You won't die of AIDS, like possibly someone has today. We, there's no evidence either way for that. We don't know. Um, it will stop all sexually, sexually transmitted diseases, including children who are the worst sexually transmitted disease of all. Um, believe me, I've spent a week with some of them and never again. Oh, no, I'm going on holiday next week with them. It's going to be even harder. <sighs> um, of course, Jason Downing, Femidoms for me 11, of course, but also she can take some condoms to use with her partners. Um, I don't know what her sexuality is. She's not interested in me, so I presume lesbian. Um, it, they, yeah, the participants really shouldn't be using the condoms during the performance sex saps your strength, um, and uh, they should be saving those up for when they're out of the competition, which will be in a few weeks' time. So um, will be is this week that'll be done. So next week, no one. Else. Two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. We're only six weeks away from finding out who the champion of the European League of Self-Playing Snooker is. But today's matches will have a definite... I think we'll have a pretty good idea of who it won't be and who it might be by the end of today's matches. Let's let the snooker do the talking, I say. Let's crack on um, before I fall asleep. Freedam, 
alcohol-free lager. I've spilt beer two of the last three times I've been at this desk. Uh, when I came back from holiday, I found my laptop was stuck to the desk with dried, congealed beer. Still not entirely cleared up. What can you do? It is hotting up, and it's hotting up here in the attic where um, no windows have been opened, and it's been quite a warm day, so uh, it could be tough tough work for the... Uh, for the old players of the old snooker on the old board today, the old green board. Let's meet our players. It's me one versus me ten. In the I don't know if I've got the eye. Where's the eye? We can't go on without the eye, can we? we? Can't go ahead. So look, you see, was, you see, I lifted up the computer. There it is. It's under the computer. Did you hear the little? As I lifted the computer, it's still slightly stuck. This pen lid has got it's got tissue stuck to it, and it's all sticky. That's from the beer. Um, you can gamble in the chat room on the live stream, of course. Um, six weeks until we know who the champion is, and barring the fact that I'm, you know, I just get bored and stop. Let's see. I can just see me one is sitting down now. Me one will be playing me ten. Me one, the normal man, of course. Here he's just sitting. How are you today, me one? Uh, pretty good, Richard. Drinking a free damn lager like you. I know it's uh, alcohol free. Don't want to have my game. Mm, just finish that one off. Um, get me another, and uh, let's get that down. Was not sponsored by Freedom Lager. Please do not buy it. Stop talking to my people there. You're not. That's not you. Don't buy Freedom Lager. I'm only drinking that. It's good. It's a good alcohol-free lager. But don't don't buy it because they haven't paid us. Unlike Jurex, who haven't paid us, but I'm pretty sure that there'll be a big check at the end from me and Jurex. I'm pretty sure. Um, so hey, for me one. I have to say, last time you uh, competed against me seven. Lost by 44 points. It would have been the biggest loss of the whole uh, tournament, I think, if me one had not gone down in such a blaze of glory last week at plus 50. Uh, do you think you can improve on that? I think I can improve on by losing by 44 points. Yes, Richard, I think I can win. And if I can win, as you said, by 40 or so points, then uh, I will be ahead of me 10. And that is what I'm aiming to do. I hate him. I hate the Welsh. I know it's not politically correct to say that anymore. It's not politically correct, but... It's not racism. They're not a race. It's xenophobia, I suppose, if anything. They uh, just... I don't like them. Don't like them. Never have liked them. I don't see why I should have to say I like them when I don't. I do not like the Welsh. And uh, I will take great delight in rubbing their Welsh faces in the dog shit that is me beating me 10 at uh, South Plains Snooker tonight. Well, it's very, un very unusually... I mean, you're up there's been some unpleasant things spoken from your mouth before, but unusually aggressive and unpleasant there. Is this just because you're not doing so well? I am doing very well. I've got four points on the table. It will be six points by the end of the day. Three more games to play after this, was it? Or two? Oh, shit. It's not that many, is it? Um, and, uh, you know, I'm in high spirits, Richard. And uh, Oh, I suppose you can't say you hate Welsh people, the entire Welsh country and everyone who lives in Wales who is Welsh or just likes Wales enough to live there or go there on holiday I hate them all I hate Chris Evans not that one from Go Fast Stripe he's a prick <laughs> and, um, uh, I uh, you seem to be laughing that yeah I am enjoying my hatred of him uh, they're, not, they're not I don't think they're human they're not entirely human I think like Neanderthal man there's some, some crossover but um so I'm, you know, I'm trash talking uh, me 10. I'm going to take him down and uh, doing it for my kids, doing it for my family. And that's shot the viewers up to 140. That, that, so that's what, if you speak from your heart, I'm like Piers Morgan. If you speak from your heart, say what you really think, even if it contradicts the thing that you said last week, people will love it and they'll tune in and it will be good. So I'm going to win. Definitely going to win, and I will take great pleasure, as I say, in rubbing me. Ten. If I can find some actual dog shit, there's a dog downstairs. I will actually rub me ten's face in it literally. That's my promise after I win today. Wow, me ten, uh, really getting it in with both barrels there from me one. Um, I'm seen as the more reasonable of me one and me two for many years, but. Um, Maybe in his old age, becoming a little bit more reactionary, a little bit more uh, right wing. Yeah, it's sort of all right to do about the Welsh, isn't it? That's the thing. But is it any different? Welsh lives matter. I mean, they're not quite as much as 
anyone else in the UK. But still, you know, I'm st- I'm not I'm not on me one's side. I'm going to make that clear. This is me, Richard Herring, speaking now, and I I don't think any Welsh person should have their face rubbed in dog shit, either literally or figuratively, um, unless that's what they want to happen. So uh, let's see. I think uh, me ten is t- sitting down now. Um, and uh, looking a bit cross, the Taffy McTaffeta, the Taffy Taff Two Tooth, Taffaloof Toffy Taffy Two Tooth Tooth, the Welsh me from Welsh Wales. How you doing? Well, hello, boyo. It's me. If I heard uh, that uh, me one thinks he can, he doesn't like, doesn't think the Welsh are human like him. Well, uh, you know we're humane, and. Uh, I'm not going to get into a slanging match. I will, uh, I'll take out me one on the old screen board, like the green, green board of home. And uh, I abhor racism and xenophobia of all kinds. I love my friends over in England uh, and India. I don't know why you would say that. I'm from Wales. I'm clearly from Wales, Welsh Wales, and uh, I'm going to rise above it, Richard. I'm not going to start slagging off me one, wherever he's from. I don't know really where he's from. Uh, just he's a, a bloke from England, I guess. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, look, I'm doing pretty well in the old snooker table. I'm up in third position. A good win today. Well, I could put me top, couldn't it, Richard, if uh, me too crashes and burns a bit? So, uh, a good win, or well, not too much, because then, yeah, you know, I could be in the top two if I with a win. Uh, and maybe first, we don't know. And I'm going to do it for the people of Wales. I don't think you are subhuman. I think you are superhuman. Uh, and I love Wales. I love Aberystwyth. I love Carmarthen. I love um, Ritril. Is that in Wales? I love uh, Bangor, Swansea, of course. Uh, you know, I mean, the people in Swansea, to be fair, if he'd said Swansea, I'd have agreed with everything he said. Uh, but uh, Cardiff, that's what we call it. And uh, yeah, look, I'm going to get out there and bang some balls around. No offence, Rich, I know you've only got one. I mean, you've only got one as well, though. I mean, you've got, you've got, one fortieth of one ball. Well, I'm going to bang those balls around for the people in the valleys, the people in the mountains. Snowden, another place I like. Um, the unit Glamorgan. I like Glamorgan. Um, the place with the castle and cheese. That place. I love eating Jason Downing. I love eating Welsh rabbit. Okay, I think we'll get on with it. Uh, me ten. Uh, do you want that uh, the cocky carrot spare eye up or down? Oh, up, please, Richard. It's it's uh, it's gone down. Unfortunately, me one first or second. Uh, I think I'll go first because I'm confident. You know, you did that. Didn't you do that last time and go in off? No, nope, don't think so. No, it's a mistake. I'm confident. Over to commentator one, commentator two in the Eduardo Martinez Solero Arena. Um, New Zealand, he died of uh, probably heart problems. Exacerbated by HR. So uh, thank you, Richard. Welcome to the Eduardo Martinez Somalo Arena. It's very sorry to see him go. Fantastic prelate. And lovely man all round, that's what I've heard. And um, God joined here by commentator two, of course. Very excited to see the result of this one. It's really hotting up, isn't it, commentator two? Yes, it really is. We're really, this is me commentator one speaking again. We're really getting to the exciting part. We are, this is the exciting part. Here's me one. He's gone in off. Richard warned him, to be fair. Uh, that's four point advantage immediately to a bit of a grudge match. This one between these two seemed to... I don't know if the players were told to behave like that to try and increase viewership, but here comes me 10, the Welsh dragon. Oh, and that's a beautiful shot. Look at that. Oh, nearly. Oh, but me one. 
First potting blood to me one as he pots an easy red. Can he get this difficult pink? This would be, this would put the cat amongst the pigeons. Oh, he's done it. He's done it with a plum. And that, he's laying out his calling card. He's saying, if you want to beat me one, you're going to have to be able to get like breaks of seven. Don't think he's going to get any more than seven, but he thinks he can smash this. Oh, what's he done? He's got a break of eight. That's a fantastic shot. He, I don't know how he saw that one. It looked to me like he was just smashing it and hoping for the best, but fuck me, that could not have been an accident. That was a brilliant double plant and double and the red ball went in the bottom left-hand pocket. He's got a break of eight. Surely that's it. Oh, he's eyeing up the brown. He thinks he can get the brown. No, he's missed it. Is he going to pop the blue? The camber of the table takes the blue away and me one. Well, is this a new dawn for the anti-Welsh player? I don't, Welsh me is going to have something to say about it. He tries a plant. Oh, nearly works. Oh, keep the red ball right. Oh, it just stops at the edge of the pocket. He's just not got the luck. Me one. There's a couple of opportunities here. Oh, he didn't even go down to look at that. He just, he's, he's playing by sense of smell. Uh, he's slightly pocket, snooking himself behind the yellow here, which will be disappointing to him. Yeah, he's gonna have to go for the yellow. Oh, there's something else, not the, he can't get it and he's just, he just plays the yellow. A little bit of a push stroke, I would say. He's got away with it. He's up to nine. Gaggly ding, gaggly ding. Meet one, nine, meet 10, four. And Mi Ten has an easy shot into the centre pocket here. Oh, he's hit it too hard. He's trying to come back for the black. Oh, and Mi One's got him. The trash talk may have worked. Mi One misses an easy shot. My goodness, a very easy shot. They both hit those much too hard. Mi Ten been given a reprieve, and he's hit that too straight. And he's set up Mi One. Can he get this red through these? The blue and the red. No. Mi Ten. Been given another reprieve of the reprieve. Can he get this red past the blue? He can, but he doesn't pot it. Ah, oh, some terrible snooker here. Me one. He's going to try for the red down the bottom. Oh, he's just pulled it away from the pocket. Or has he? Has he done the best shot of the night match? No, he hasn't. Me ten. He's back. Again, not really looking too carefully about where the ball's going. Me one. Needs to do better. Can he get this red in? No. And me 10. Surely one of them's got a pot of ball soon. This is the easiest shot we've seen yet. Me 10 has done it and he's got on the black. And that's what he was trying to do a long time ago. He's got on the black but missed the black. So me 10 whizzes up to five points. Me 1 on nine points. Anyone's match at the moment. Me 1 slightly ahead. Here is me 1. Oh, I think he didn't think he'd get past that. He smashed everything. Oh, nothing goes in. Me 10. No, he's playing badly, Me 10. He's not the Welsh wizard we've come to know and love. Me 1. He's going to go in off. No, he hasn't. He's just missed the in off. Me 10. The Welsh wizard. No, he's not. He's the Welsh rubbish at snookered. And Me 1 pots that beautifully. He's pulled it back for the blue. Can he get another big break here? Oh, the blue jingled and jangled in the pocket. And uh, some nerves now. Me one on 10, me 10 on five. Me 10 at the hockey. Oh, he's gone in off. And it was a terrible shot. One of the worst shots we've seen. Uh, and that could be handing me one the victory. He's pulling away, and if he can just clear all the balls here, he's guaranteed a win. He's potted the first red. That's the first step on any journey to potting all the balls. He's going for the brown. He's beautiful shot, making up for all the rubbish shots he's done. Fantastic pot of the brown. That's a break of five. If he can just pot all the rest of the balls now, that's all he has to concentrate on doing. He's a professional snooker player. Oh, he caught his finger there and hurt himself. I could see that and he's potted, he's got in off. So although he's got five, he's given away four. Calculating, calculating. 
Me one nineteen. Me ten. Calculating, 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 calculating. Nine. Me ten. Then give it his thumbs hurting, even though it was me one who smashed his thumb there. And me ten confidently pots. Could this be his first two ball break? It is. He's potted the green. Confidently pots the green. And this, if he can pot every ball here now, we have our winner. Oh, he let himself down there with a pretty easy red. But claws his way back into this match. 13-19, me one. He's just smashing it. Dangerous, dangerous. But this is quite good. He's got almost got a snooker, me 10. And gets away with not potting the pink there. Lucky, me one. Oh, me one hit that too hard. It jumped into the pocket, jumped out. Me 10, oh, lovely. And me 10 is, oh, the camera at the table's done him in a bit there. He was nicely on the pink. But yeah, he's not, un he's not, oh, unlucky. 19-14. Let's think of all the people who died in the Great War as me one. Pots. The red gets to 2014. Let's think of all the people who died in, I don't know, something that happened in 2014. Going for the brown. Oh, he's hit it too hard again. Will he never learn? He's up to 20. It's 2014. Was that the year all the celebrities died? I think, well, that was 2016, wasn't it? No one died in 2014. Here's me, Tem. Oh, he's fucked it up again. And the top spot could be his. Certainly the top two. But it's... Falling away now. There's me one. Tempts a double. Nearly gets it. Oh, but maybe gets a snooker. And that's what we're talking. This is a good snooker. I think me ten's equal to this one. He is nearly pots the red. May get his own snooker. No, me one. Me one. Pots the red. It's looking very good for me one. He pots the end. Oh, he's just snooking himself like a prize chump. He's got a break of three. Two ball break. But he now has to get round the brown to the yellow. He does it. Is he going to pot it? Oh, no. That's good enough. Calculating, calculating. Meet one, 27. Meet 10, 14. And you never know what's going to happen in this tournament last week. Me one could barely, two weeks ago, could barely score a point this time. Flying high, me 10 as a beautiful snooker. A beautiful snooker, me one. Oh, he's fucked that up good and proper. And uh, five points to me, 10. That snooker was very good. Can he get another? He's aiming for another, get, trying to get the cue ball around the brown. Hasn't gone his way, me one. Oh, beautiful pot. But that time he hit it hard and it worked for him. He hit it hard again, he's down, he's potted the green, he's down on the brown, me one. Oh, I'm only a break of five for me one. Calculating, calculating, me one, 32, me 10. Calculating, calculating, 19, and he's snookered. It's a very good snooker. Me 10. He doesn't really know what he's doing. That's pretty close. But he's given six points away. He's now 19 points adrift. Me one. 22 points on the table. Me one just needs the brown. Hasn't got it. Me ten. Could do with a snooker. Hasn't got it. And he's set me one up. Me one. The elite champion. Oh, and you can see why. Look at this. Me one. Two fantastic pots. He's on the pink. If he gets this, he's definitely won. He's won it. Can he make it to a break of 22? That would surely be the highest break of the tournament so far. Oh, has he fucked it? He has. Nine. Break of 15 for me, one. Takes him to 53. It's 53-19. That's a very good win. Very good win for me, one. And uh, he said he would fuck the Welsh up. He's fucked them up good and proper. Plus 34. 
That's going to make some differences in the old league table. Andy McH will be getting to work on that. Plus 34. Um, but what do you think, commentator two? Yeah, I think that was uh, pretty good. Uh, me 10. Oh, I can't work out whether that's enough. I don't think it's quite enough. But uh, fantastic snooker. If he'd just got that black, not only a million pounds for the highest break, but also 41, I think that would have been enough to make him leapfrog me 10 in the table. And let's go back to Richard Herring in the studio. He'll be talking to the players, dissecting the action. Well, me one came out tough talking, came out shit talking, came out saying he was going to smear me tens face in some shit, and he really did that. Could have with that black in there. Could have been even more. It's you know, it's sad in this day and age that someone can say those things and get away with it, but he has. And look, that's where it leaves us now. A lot of players on six points. Yeah, that seven could have made all the difference. That black. That would have bumped me one up to fourth place. He remains in fifth. But they're all well clear of the chasing pack. That pack cannot even catch any of these top five in the next week. Um, and with uh, Gamey in a strong position here. Especially if me seven can beat me two. But today was the win for me one. Um, he's won three of the five. Me ten has won three of the five. And both in negative there. Let's talk to them. First of all, Taffy McTaffer to the Welsh. Me from Welsh Wales. What went wrong? Boy, I, I do not know what went wrong. <laughs> Well, what's is it affected your speech? Maybe, by, maybe, boy, oh, my brain has been affected by the loss. I mean, really, you're nowhere near. You're nowhere near your own accent there. Can you, do you want to start again? Well, I heard that uh, my accent was pretty good. So, you know, uh, I think maybe you're not hear, hearing me properly. But, um, man, but, uh, well, look, Richard, you cannot win them all. And I did not win that one. <laughs> no, you didn't. You're in a mess, mate. You're in a you're in a complete mess. Look, I was trying to do it for the people of Carefully and the people of the Stone of Schoon. I think that's Scotland. And yes, but we're very close to the Scotch here in Wales. And um, no, couldn't do it. And I would like to apologise to. Uh, all of the people in Wales that I let this xenophobic racist uh, win. I will go home and think about my next match uh, in which I will be playing me three. Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? Boyo. Is that really my next one? I suppose it is. And then I'll be thinking about my next match in which I play me four. That's a pretty easy one. I'm still in with a chance, Boyo. So don't write off. The Taffy McTaffy to Taff Toff Tiff Taffy McToo Taffy Toot Toot T the Welsh me from Welsh Wales. I'll be back. Boy. Very good. Um So uh let's talk and me one's gonna be insufferable. Uh and I don't know if he's just look he's not he's in his chair yet, I don't know if he's out looking for some dog shit. Um I hope he won't follow through in that that we don't want to see that in even in the European Super League, even when you're sponsored by Jurex, I mean, if you can put a, if you think someone's going to smear dog shot on your face, you can stretch a Jurex over your face, and it will provide protection. But it seems a terrible waste of a beautiful um, sperm collector to to do that. And you know, the day when I see a condom covered in shit is not the day that I want to that I'll be proud of. No one wants to ever see that. That's not what they're for. Uh, have, thanks, Rich. I'm here now. Uh, I'm not going to rub his face in dog shit. I think I've done that figuratively. Uh, I'm ashamed I didn't just finish the job and get my million quid with the 22 break that I don't think anyone would have beaten. I mean, maybe someone did one earlier in the contest. We should really have been keeping an eye on the high score. Um, and, um, yeah, look, I won. This is for my fans. I know a lot of you have been following me for a long time. A lot of you have been sticking with me a long time through... Th Thick and thin. I can't remember if I was pro or anti-Brexit. 
can't remember if I was pro Trump or anti Trump. I can't remember which one I was, but I'm I hate the Welsh and that's been proven to be true. I hate whoever I'm playing next to. Am I playing next time? Me eleven. I hate women. I hate Welsh women the most. And then me thirty one, I hate Quantum Leap. So that that's gonna carry me through. If I can win all remaining those remaining two fixtures, then I think I'm in with a very good chance of uh of taking the crown, although both of them are down the bottom of the table, which means, you know, I should win them. So we'll see. Well, that's very good. All well and good. Let's meet the players for the next match. Very exciting action here, as as anticipated. I do. I would like to apologise to our many, many Welsh viewers. Um, I'm sorry your guy lost, and I'm very sorry about the abhorrent views, which I do not share. Uh, and I, can't, I couldn't even be in a brain that would create those thoughts. Um, and uh, so I would like to apologise there's nothing we can do there's no nothing in the if you look at your tea towels there's nothing in the rules that says racists and xenophobes uh, can't play or will be in any way penalised for xenophobia so all I can do is apologise for some of the language we've heard uh, personally I'm a big fan of Welsh without the Welsh wonderful Welsh nation I'm not sure my career would have um even had the mediocre success that it has, but certainly with that Chris Evans, not that one who I, who me one said some terrible things about. He's one of my best friends, and without him, we wouldn't have any of this stuff. So, I hope the people at home, whether you are a me one supporter or not, I hope he's not going to lead some kind of political party, uh, coasting to power on creating scapegoats. Um, I didn't say goats because Welsh people like having sex with animals. That's just a word for. You know, I'm not a racist against the Welsh, is what I'm saying. Sorry that me one is, and that's my apology. Let's talk to me too. Traditionally, the hard man, the unpleasant man of the of the main two, but uh, let's see if he can outdo that. He is playing me seven, so let's see if he's going to be anti-Irish. Hello, me too. How you doing, Richard? I'm good. Uh, I think the stuff we heard there. I've said it all along. You know, uh, a lot of people look down on me because I'm a drinker. Because I'm a womanizer, because I haven't settled down and don't have kids, they think there's something wrong with me as a 54-year-old man that I should be like that. But I've stayed true. I've always loved people. I've judged, but I'm not, I don't love anyone. I'm me too. I've always judged people by what they're like rather than where they're from. And uh, it makes life harder than just going, okay, I'm going to hate everyone who's Welsh or I'm going to hate everyone who's white or whatever you, the racists do. I get to know people, and then I hate most of them based on their personality and that is a fine thing to do so i don't stand by that i'm not going to give any anti-irish sentiments i love ireland i love the crack um that's why i'm happy in many ways durex is supporting us you need it for that you do even though richard doesn't know it you do need it for that you need it for the crack um so uh and I'm just here. I want to beat me seven. I don't like him personally, but it's nothing to do with where he's from. It's to do with him being a cocky little prick who needs, you know, his face rubbed in some dog shit. That's what I'm planning to do. So um, I'm going to take him down. And if I can win this, if I can win it handsomely, you know, I'm already at the top of the table. Uh, I can extend that lead. I'll be the first player with eight points, the only player with eight points. Me three may come back next week at eight points. Maybe you won't. And then what we're going to do? Who's going to take me down then? Not many people. So um, looking forward to it, Rich. And uh, this is for the fans. Uh, long COVID sufferers. Uh, many kids are getting that now. Um, I'm anti-mask. But um, if you want to wear one, that's up to you. Well, getting some political views out today that I don't. I'm very pro-mask um, and um, I like most people. So I'm not like either of these two guys, even though they together they make up me, I know. I know that's how it works. Let's talk to me seven, Paddy McPoodoo, the Welsh me from Ireland, <laughs> Irish Ireland. Um, very much loved by the fans, very much loved by the other snooker players, apart from me too, apparently. He's just sitting down now. How are you doing, Irish me? Well... Richard, I am I'm tippity toppity too. I'm feeling okay, thank you very much. And uh, I would just like to say 
Best of luck to me too. I know this is a big match for the young lad. And uh, no hard feelings. If you beat me, I know we're just both doing our job. We're both just trying to do the best for ourselves and for our fans. And I know there's a lot of Irish fans out there. And 127 viewers, probably 50-60% of them are Irish uh, people. They love the Liffey like I do. They love um, uh, Cork. <laughs> You're finding something funny? Me seven. No, sorry, disappeared there for a second. No, not really, Richard. I'm not finding any of this funny. I'm taking it very seriously. Not like serious me, but uh, seriously enough that I hope I can win for the people of Ireland, the people of Cork, the people of Finisterre, the people, the little people, the people of Limerick, people of uh, Dublin, obviously, uh, the people of. Um, you know, I, there's so many Irish towns that I know that uh, I am uh, struggling just to pick one because I've got too many. There's too many. To, 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 do you think you can win? Yes, Richard, I think I can win. And with a good win behind me, and the, uh, I could find myself at the top of the table and then. Uh, yeah, me three, you will if he wins, uh, you know, I'll be in trouble. But uh, I think I can win. So let's get on with it, shall we? And uh, top of the morning to you. And a bit of the Irish eyes are smiling. Good. You know, I'll be glad when this is over. I'm just going to go back to me one versus me two after this. And, you know, that's how it should be. Galway would have been a good one, Jason Downing. I, I don't know any Irish places, but um, me... Seven seems to know them all. Let's go back to me. Commentate one, commentate two. Blah, 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 blah. In the, um, the Solero Arena. Thank you, Richard. We're back here. Unfortunately, um, referee one has been called into the referee's office to discuss uh, whether there should be any action taken against me one for his xenophobia. Uh, he hasn't had a chance to set up, but it gives us a nice opportunity, rare opportunity to see how the referees prepare the green board. A lot of care. He's just changing the t the uh, scoreboard back to zero there. And you'll see he picks, what he does, he picks the balls out of the pocket, rolls the ones down that end, up that end, keeps the ones that are more like this end up this end, reds in the triangle. Again, he hasn't found the uh, correct size triangle. No balls in that one, that's unusual. And uh, then he just, he somehow remembers, without having to look it up on the chart, exactly where everything goes, and that's... One of the attributes that marks out the referees from people who couldn't referee a snooker match if you, if you paid them. Uh, all the balls out now, just needing to be put on their place. I don't know where they go, but almost instinctively, referee one seems to know. And there he goes, the old triangle. Oh, we didn't do a pre-match flop. Uh... I can just hear Richard, he's asking me to, uh, I can hear him now. Uh, do you want I up or I down, me to? I up. Oh, it's gone down on the floor, it's I down, me seven. What do you want to do? Oh, Richard, oh, for, to be sure, I will go second. Okay, me two to break. Can he break the curse of the in-off? He can, is he going to pop one? No, but that's, a, that's not a bad break. Me seven, sees an opportunity straight away. Oh, hits it a bit too hard. Oh, me seven may have made some mistakes there. Me too. A win here and me too will be looking very strong. Oh, unlucky. Uh, me too potted the red fine, but uh, just misjudged the blue and potted another red. So me seven finds itself leaping into an early lead. Irish eyes are smiling and me seven beautifully pots a red but then immediately snookers himself very badly. He's going for the brown. Oh, and he's really misjudged that. He's more or less hit the yellow. It doesn't make any difference. So he gets one but gives away four. Calculating, calculating. Me two, five. Me seven, six. And me two. Oh, that was the shot of the evening. That was a beautiful plant, subtle, gently popped. 
nudges a red into the top right hand pocket. Can you get this pink? Oh, the pink jingles and jangles in the pocket. A little bit too hard for me too. He's equalized though, it's six all. Me seven may have something to say about that now. Oh, he's hit that too hard. It's jingled and jangled in the pocket and come out. Me too. What can he do? All the reds unusually at the right end of the table. Me too's gonna try for this one. It, can he get that really? Oh, he nearly does it. Me seven. Just needs to be a little gentle. There you go, that's the, that's the key to this sport. Surprisingly how few of them have realized that. He's gonna go for the pink. Hasn't worked, dangerous, because if he goes in off here, that's six points. Me seven, he's on seven. Me two's on six. That is another fantastic shot from me too. Maybe he could clear from here. He's got the highest break of this match. He's got a break of six. And to be honest, the balls are set up nicely. This could be at least a three ball break. It is, he's got seven. Where's he gonna go now though? Where can he go? Nowhere. Left himself no options really. He's going for the blue. He considered coming in off for the pink, coming off the side for the pink home when he could pop that, but a break of seven for me too. Catapults him into the lead. And he could almost, he's almost got his hand on that trophy now. Me seven. That's not going to help get me two's hand off that trophy. And me too can see an easy red here. He's potted it. He comes right down the snooker board. He's on the pink or the black. He's going for the pink. Another two ball break at least. It could be three. He's beautifully judged that to get onto the red. It's already a break of seven. Can he get a three ball break here? You know he can. He's got a break of eight, but it's not over yet. The yellow looks easy. He's misjudged it. Ah, oh, me too. Break of eight, puts him up to 21. Calculating, calculating, me two, 21, me seven, seven, and me seven. Trying to manipulate the balls into pockets, failing to do so, me too. Can he get a snooker here? I think that's the best he can hope for. Oh, he almost curves that into the pocket. Me seven, he can't quite get this. Tries for a double. Oh, he's gone in off. It's just not going me seven's way tonight. And me too is pulling away and possibly playing his way to a victory that will reap down the ages. Me too plays for safety and brilliantly snookers me seven. Me seven gets out of it and uses the curve of the table, almost a snooker. Me too felt he could just get that. He does, nearly pots it. Me seven, needs to start potting some balls or getting some big snookers, me too. Oh, nearly misses that one, nearly goes in off. Has, a, has a, an actually an incredible snooker. Me seven, oh, just misses. But this is, he's in trouble now. Four points to me too. Calculating, calculating, me too, 29, me seven, seven. Any color is a red now for me too. He's potted the blue, it counts as a red. One point. Can you get the black? This should surely end it. He hasn't done it. Me too. He was annoyed when me one became the elite champion, but can he be become the snooker league guy? This is him again, I think, me too. Nearly goes in off. Me seven needs to start scoring some points and fast. There's one of them. Ooh. Fortunately, he badges right into the brown, which was his Give me really, he's gonna go for the black. You have to admire him. Well, maybe a snooker. Me seven has got onto eight points. It's 22 points adrift. It's not a snooker. Me too, just wax it. He can afford to take the chance. Ooh. Me seven, he knows there's value in these last 
colours. It's not over yet. Oh, he's missed an easy yellow. Is it going to go in? No. It's a more or less a snooker. Me too. Comes off the side though. He's not stupid. <sighs> Lovely play here. Me seven. Needs to start closing that gap there. He's done it all. Oh, nearly goes in off. Can he get a... If you can just pot all these, he's one. He's got two of them. Should get this one. He's got three of them. It's a break of nine. Can he make it a break of 14? No. Not unless something extraordinary happens. A break of nine for me, seven. Puts him up to 17. 30 plays 17. 18 on the table. Me two, starting to worry a little bit maybe. Me seven. Ooh, oh, that has not worked out well for me seven, me two. He pots the blue. That's surely it now. Oh, misses quite an easy pink. It's four, 35, plays 17, 13 on the table. Me seven. Needs a snooker. That's not going to be easy. Me too. Just needs to put down this pink. Oh, he's done it. He's done it with a plum. And can he get the black as well? Oh, not quite. So six points to me too. I make that 41 17. That's quite a victory for, yeah, me too. He's streaking away with this. That's plus 24. Mm, that's going to make that's going to make some interesting reading on the old table when we get back. What do you think, commentator? Two. Oh, sorry, I wasn't really watching. You weren't really watching. No, I got this boring. I didn't bother watching. Well, still gets to pay exactly the same as me. Um, it's all over. It's all gone. It's time to move on. Back to you, Richard, in the studio. Well, what a time. What a time to be alive. And I can't wait to see what that has done to the table. Andy McH working furiously behind the scenes. I mean, me too has played five and won four. I know that much. And has the, by far the highest goal difference. I know that much. I think he's on something like 80, plus 82. He's, got, he's the only player with eight points. Me seven and goes down to minus eight, I think. Um, yeah, played five. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. So played five. Very strong breeze. Yes, I got it right. Very much in this end. Gamey needs to win next week to keep this guy in check. If Gamey loses, two weeks time, of course, it will be. If Gamey loses against Sam Beckett Me, I mean, it would be an amazing result for Sam Beckett Me to beat one of the informed players. Um, there's every chance Gamey can beat him by 40 or 50 points. Then, uh, But if he loses, two putt matches to go. Me too also has to play Sam Beckett Me and then Me 11. So Me too has to play the bottom two players on the table. It's looking very good for him. Gamey hasn't played. Still in second place. Irish me loses. Minus 11. There's a lot of minuses there. Amazingly serious me. 1-1. One, one, plus 18. Is there only three players with a plus goal difference? Fascinating. We could look at this all day. We're sponsored by Jurex, of course. Do, don't forget, if you're having sex, Jurex. Um, on your penis or in your vagina or both. Or anus, apparently. Yeah. You learn something new every day. Uh, mouth, probably don't need to bother, but you know, if you're being super cautious, if you work for you're a sex worker, probably in the mouth. Just be careful out there. It spoils everything. It spoils everything. But it's better to be safe than have fun. Um Let's talk to those players uh in the Eduardo Martinez Samalo Arena. Let's first of all talk to losing me seven from Irish Island. If you're having trouble placing the accent, how are you feeling, me seven? Begora, Rich, top of the bottom of the evening to you because, uh, yes, it did not 
work out for me. Again, someone who's lost and just completely lost the ability to speak, it seems. To be sure, to be sure, Richard. Yes, I, you know, I've come here. I've won tournaments before. I've won a lot of games of snooker. But uh, I could not match Me Too tonight. He played with Verve. There was a little while I thought I'm going to come back with the colours. I'm going to take I'm going to take him down. But uh, then he came back and he got some of the other balls. And I was left adrift uh, on uh, merely 17 points. So that's a bad loss to me, Richard. Me 1 and Me 2 have both won tonight. They're the champions. They're the guys we look up to. So the, the, all us little guys... We've been watching those um, Me One, Me Two since the, we were kids ourselves, wishing we could get up there on the old green board and then, yeah, thanks to you, you know, 40 years later, we find ourselves competing against our heroes. And, uh, you know, no wonder we get uh, overawed. No wonder we can't compete. But uh, Me Too won that fair and square. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I know that leaves me uh, with a lot to do it, when it comes down to it. But I'm still only two points off the lead. And I'm uh, hoping if Gamey gets defeated la next week. You know, the cats amongst the pigeons. If Me31 can come out and take out Gamey. You know, who knows? Who knows what could happen? Well, lovely words there. Very moving in a lot of ways to hear those childhood. A childhood in Ireland, no doubt. Whereabouts in Ireland did you grow up? Oh, you know, Ireland. The Republic of Ireland. Air, air, uh, Ireland. One of the, probably just outside one of the main towns. Grow up watching, watching me one and me two. Well, you grew up watching Rich Herring in his lounge in Cheddar playing himself at Snook. How did you watch it from Ireland? Oh, we watched it, Richard. It was all televised, you do not know. And um, we'd all gather around the old television in Aberdeenshire. And uh, in where? Not and um, you know we'd watch them, see how they got on. Ah, uh, me too with my favourite, very right. the hurric, the very very strong breeze, the Irish we loved him. Let's talk to me too. He's just sitting down now. How are you feeling, me too? Well, Richard, this is a vindication. I've only lost lost that one frame, and I bet that wasn't by much, was it? Who beat me? What? Which of these? I can't even remember which of these pricks beat me. Not me four, that's for sure. Um, not me one. Not me four. Oh, me three. I mean, that if, God, if I'd won that match, this would all be over, wouldn't it? Uh, just lost one match. And uh, that's for all the long COVID sufferers. Uh, for anyone, especially young kids with long COVID, it happens. Um, it's not over yet, guys. And there's more viruses coming, so... You know, don't give up on self-playing snooker. Keep watching because the post-apocalypse, this is all that's going to be on. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Even if we're playing uh, in a dirt floor with just stones, throwing them against each other, p poking them with a twig. We'll keep going. That's what we're going to do. And yeah, me won. Well done, you won today. But where are you in the table? Quite low down. I'm at the top. Two points clear. Highest goal difference. I am the best. Suck on that, motherfuckers. Well, it's been lovely. Um, Rahulaspur is continuing. Rahulaspur is going into theatres, in the Leicester Square Theatre, very soon. We're in Norwich this week, if you happen to be watching from Norwich. Um, there's a few tickets left to see Jay Rayner and then a few tickets left to see Matt Holness. Two different shows. Come to them both, if you like. Uh, and... Uh, have to pay twice don't know why i haven't thought that before i think i have done it before but uh, usually but the london ones two shows for the price of one ticket and you can live stream those as well if you're a badger you get it for half price it's worth becoming a badger uh, in order to get that half price and then you can stop being a badger if you're a cunt go faster slash badges for the become a badger three pounds a month if you want that can be more if you like and uh if you go to richtrain.com click on the first thing in the middle you'll see the tickets for non-badgers if you're a badger there's a ticket link on rahalasifa.co.uk for the live streams or buy tickets to the shows most of the shows still have loads of tickets left uh, we will be booking up guests very soon um look i hope you had a good time i hope you're wearing a durex right now 
do support them. They're a great sponsor, even though they haven't given us a penny yet. I'm, I'm sure we can. Uh, I'm sure we can sort that out. I don't know who the guests for the bonus rehearsals by yet. I in Amazon. I'm trying to sort that out, obviously, because it's quite soon. Um, and yeah, keep supporting us. Thanks to everyone who watches. Thanks to subscribe. If you're subscribing, like uh, Bedfordshire Clanger just has for 16 months. Um, that's free money from Amazon. You can give to us, and that's very nice of you. Uh, if you want to give us actual money, or if you want to sponsor my marathon, justgiving.com slash monoball. Uh, the money from the live stream, by the way, is going to those NHS charities and to the Museum of Comedy. So we're going to go now. Thanks very much for watching. From me and all the me's, and from Ian Jurex, from Jurex UK, at Jurex UK. I only saw one person ask for their free Jurex last week. You've been great. Thanks to Andy McH. Thanks to Chris Evans. Not that one. Sorry about xenophobic me one. I don't know where that came from. See you next time. There is going to be a raid to Terry Minot. Be nice and enjoy yourselves. Goodbye.